Hey guys, what is going on? And welcome back to another episode of the Cubby SMP. So, yeah. Um, episode 3, welcome back. Um, let's once again give you guys a recap of what I've been up to between episode 2 and 3. We'll roll that. Alright, so I started off by trading 28 white wool to Striker X for a couple diamonds because. Um, in this situation, I still needed a little bit of diamonds, I think, for tools. And then Noah Strap, um, that's actually Striker, but he stopped by, gave me some quartz for some berries. And then I went ahead and built a second berry location for the berry hills. But this is called the berry patch, because it's not really a hill, it's just a patch. And there it is, it's in Snowden. So, yep, second location expansion. And then Midtime Wolf, actually. Gave me uh, a gift, but I had to throw it out because we later found out they were duplicating and x-raying and cheating. So, yeah, went ahead, went mining, found some diamonds. These are actually legit diamonds, so I didn't have to throw out all my diamonds. Found even more diamonds. So, yeah, got kind of rich. Even more diamonds, but I only had to throw out five of my diamonds because they gave me four and then someone thought it was a good idea to put obsidian over my bed. And then I traded a lead for 53 emeralds from this person who ended up, I think, leaving the realm. Because all their stuff was ended up was fraud. But yeah, I got 53 emeralds. And then I went ahead and traded my 53 emeralds to Dr. Savage for 4 netherite ingots. Which I later found out was all frauded. So I had to throw away all my netherite because it was all x-rayed. And so did everyone else. So ever, all the issues are solved with the x-ray. And the person has been banned. So, yep, we just wasted 53 emeralds. And then midtime, well, okay, y you know what's going on. Like, how? Like, I, 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 like, I actually had a lot of evidence. I didn't just ban them because they were being nice. I had quite a bit of evidence. And they actually ended up admitting it. So, in the end, they've been taken care of. So, here's the sad part. Well, where I had to go ahead and throw out, um, everything. All the netherite, pretty much. I had some issues, because I kept on picking it up, and I just wanted it to despawn. And, um, so yeah, I just threw out all the netherite. Um, I was trying to find a good way to do it. <clears throat> but yeah, they were actually x-raying and giving netherite to all these people. Um, trying to act like a nice person, but I think everybody's thrown out all their netherite. So, yeah, there you go. And 19 netherite ingots. I actually didn't know that the four were frauded at the time, so I kept the four. But I later threw out the four. I don't know if I show it, but I, I did. So, yeah. Then I found even more diamonds, which is pretty cool. But, yeah. Alright, so I want to just start off the episode by saying we had some drama. We had um, someone using hacks to gain absurd amounts of diamonds and netherite. They have been taken care of. Which means all that netherite that they gave me, which was literally all of my ingots, have been thrown away. They gave me four diamonds, got rid of that. Also mined some diamonds, so... Yeah, they have been taken care of. Just wanted to let you guys know that. And we're gonna start off the episode by going ahead and crafting our full diamond armor. So we're left with 22 diamonds in here. It's pretty pog. So we're gonna put on our new diamond armor. There we are, diamond armor. Pretty pog. So today is the day that I'm gonna go look for and move from the starter village. I'm gonna go ahead and pretty much be starting my own area. So yeah, I'm going to make a chest, put it on the donkey, and find an area. So let's go ahead and grab Mr. Donkey right here. It would take multiple trips. I'll do that probably off camera. Transport all my stuff. Because I don't know if you guys want to watch me go back and forth. Over and over again. Um, so yeah. So we got a donkey with a chest. Let's go ahead and transport our valuables. We don't have that much. Unless you consider 22 diamonds a lot. And we're dying. Okay, here we go. Let's go ahead and put all this stuff in here. Actually, we're going to wear the iron armor. Because I don't want to break my diamond armor before I got mending. Which I'm going to be getting mending very, very shortly. Okay, there we go. Fits perfectly. Where's my, uh... Oh, my boot. My boots. 
Okay, organize the inventory a little bit. Let's take off the diamond armor, put on the iron. There we go. Okay, so let's fill up our inventory with stuff. We'll start with this barrel. Just gonna take whatever's in here and start exploring. So, like I said, I'm gonna be making more trips off camera using Mr. Donkey here, and he's dying. Um, we're gonna go in that direction. Oh, there. We're gonna go this way for um, maybe a thousand or two thousand. I wanna go to a place like that has a village near it, so we can get villagers. Like if we find a village, um, maybe we'll go there or around it. I don't wanna set. I don't wanna um, settle in a village though. So. Snowy uh, Taiga, I think, over there. <clears throat> Pretty pog, but I don't really want to. This is a snowy tundra. I don't want to settle there, because that's where Snowed In is. It's in a snowy tundra. We have a normal spruce biome over there, snowy spruce, and I don't have a bed. That's going to probably be an issue. Oh, there's an igloo! There's an igloo! We can get a villager! We might settle here. We can get a villager. Please tell me there's a basement, and please tell me no one has been here. If, if there's villagers in here, I'm settling here. Please tell me. Please tell me. <laughs> please, 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 please. Is that a is that another village, dude? Uh, what? Has anybody explored that village? Oh no, someone's been here. Okay, well, that's a rip. Oh, the villagers are still here. Oh, someone, someone. Is this someone's base? Hmm. Let's head over to the other village and see what's happening there. Because someone's already been to this igloo. Hmm. Yeah, there's... A lot of villagers here, or a decent amount. Well, this is probably where, uh, where we will get our villagers from. So, is that over there just a mountain biome? There's another village! Okay, that's very good. Yeah, another village. Okay, okay. The villager's still here. Oh, there's a golem. Yeah, this looks like a pretty functioning village, if you ask me. And there's a ruined portal. Okay. Okay. Is there any good loot for me? Oh. Okay. Not really. I'm not gonna really take any of that. The gold block we'll get later. Okay. Well, I think I know where I'm gonna settle. We're gonna go out to this plains biome, the snowy plains. Even though, yes, it is snowy plains. Um, we're gonna have to deal with absurd amounts of stray. I guess it is what it is. So yeah. Right here. Go right here. Um, let's place down our chest. Put everything in it. For the time being, at least. There we go, Mr. Donkey. I'm gonna take the chest off you. Or I'll take the stuff out of the chest. Is the chest- can I get the chest off you? I don't wanna hit it. Dang it, dude. I don't know how to get the chest off. Is the chest just stuck there? Alright, okay, that's odd. A villager. Lectern, let's go. That'll help tremendously. And books? Okay, this is good. This is really good. We can dump off more stuff. Very valuable stuff, so I hope nothing happens to this stuff right here. Alright, so we're gonna get some... Uh... Crafting table. Okay. Now, can we make some railroads? Railroads, railroads, railroads. 64? Um... There's two stacks, we might need three stacks, which we, I guess, I'm pretty sure we can make. Alright, we'll start off with three stacks. We can make more if need be. Why do I have a music disc? That's not supposed to be there. 
I should probably build like a makeshift structure. Um, so they don't die. That would be bad. So I'm just gonna grab some wood. I'm gonna transport villagers, by the way. That's what I'm doing right now. So... Do we have torches on us? We do. Okay, that's good. I don't want any zombies to spawn in here, so we're gonna light the place up a bit. I don't think any zombies should spawn. We should put that there for good measure. And let's go ahead and head over to the village. By the time we get this railroad set up, it'll probably be morning or the... It'll be tomorrow night. And there is a villager in here as well. Alright, sir. Let's start construction on the minecart track. I guess. We're not gonna get any powered rails unless we just absolutely desperately need them. And this will connect up exactly. Just like that, we're gonna have the starts of a villager trading hall. Literally perfect. Actually, we made too much. That's okay. Oh my god. Frickin' villagers are so dumb. <sighs> Thank you. Go. Alright, donkey, we're gonna push. Oh, are you kidding me right now? He's gonna die to a sweet berry, isn't he? Trimmer of these sweet berries. Alright, Mr. Villager is on his way. We're gonna need to push him up. Oh, 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 dang it. Ah, this is not gonna go too well. I can already, already tell. Yep, yeah, we got him. There we go, Mr. Farmer Villager. Who will no longer be a farmer when I'm done with him. In you go. Now let's get our lectern. I hereby declare you a the librarian. If you'll take the job. I'm gonna go grab some beds. Get in the minecart. And the minecart. Nope, wrong way. Wrong way. There you go. Where's the donkey? Here's the donkey. Don't die to a sweet berry, please. <laughs> I bless that you don't die to a freaking sweet berry. Oh, come on. Come on. No, no, no. Oh, you're almost there. Almost there. Yes, we got him. Nice. There's only a point in transporting, too. I might do some off camera if I feel like it. Uh, how are we going to do this exactly? Villager. Can you, like, cooperate here? Nope, you're not coming. Up. He came out. Nope, you're not coming out. Not on my watch. Stop! 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 How do we get out of here now? Oh no! 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 no. Are you kidding me right now? We'll just leave them in the minecart for now, because they're probably going to be able to get out somehow. That was literally... <sighs> I don't even know. But we're going to put some pets down. And um, a bell, so... Maybe they'll think it's their village. Bell. There we go. Put down a bed. Or, sure, I guess we'll put a bed there. Somebody claimed it. Bed right there. Oh, he's a librarian now. Sharpness too. There we go. Right, sir. I trust you to um, be a good boy. Cause yeah, you're here now. Damn you! I'll leave you in the minecart, I guess. 
Okay. Um. I guess we'll start swapping out trades. We need some sugar cane so we can lock in the trade. Please tell me we have some sugar cane. Uh, oh my god. Of course we don't. There's some right here. Do we have any bones? We do. We can bone me all the sugar cane. Okay. And um, wish me luck. Because this guy better change trades. Oh, that guy. Nope. There we go, mending has been achieved. Mending librarian, already. There we go, mending. Dang, okay, mending. Whew. Got it, he's our mending guy. We'll put his workstation right there, I guess. Yeah, or actually, whoops. Yeah, I want this guy to be a potato. So we'll trade him out until he becomes a potato guy. Alright, so now I went ahead and traded three diamonds plus a totem of undying to Good Apple for a Fortune 3 plus Flame 1 book. I'm obviously going to use the Fortune on a pickaxe, so got a Fortune 3 book. Pretty cool. Pretty good deal, too. So, yeah. Alright, guys, so I have went ahead and locked in this guy as a potato farmer. So in order to get a mending book, we're going to need 25 emeralds. So how we're going to do that is by trading potatoes to this guy. So in order to do that, we need to make a uh, potato farm. And I should probably make a full set of armor. Because as you can see, I transported all my items here. And I have no armor, so I'm probably going to die if I don't hide. Got, I raided a couple villages did some stuff um so yeah we're not gonna really expand the breeder we're gonna probably make a breeder next episode or this ep or um episode after because this is just a little hut it's not a breeder they can't breed because there's no farm but i'm gonna make a farm a potato one a potato farm yeah so next episode we should be able to get mending by then on our diamond armor because i'm gonna do work off camera obviously just Basically just harvesting potatoes and stuff like that. I don't know if the water's going to freeze. I mean, it pr probably will. But I don't know if it is going to affect the crops. We're just going to do the method where you plant four in each direction. So that's the most efficient way to do things. You have to wait, but we have bone meal, so we're going to be fine. We might actually be able to get a mending book today. But I mean, I don't know what we would do with it. I guess we could put it on like a... Diamond pickaxe. Alright, so... It's gonna be just pretty much the same dimensions of the farms in my Let's Play. Just 4x4. Four 4x4. By four. Four by four. Basically, 4... Basically, I think it's 16 by 16. And then once we move the chests, we'll expand the potato farm to 1, 2, 3, 4. So, the water has frozen to ice. Does that matter? I guess not, because, you know, the crops still look to be... Um... Like growing like if you, like they're like filtrated whatever you call it which will fix the problem collect all these potatoes yeah we're gonna have issues with the water we'll, we'll just grab a slab out of here you should have a slab or a trapdoor I guess that'll work So the water's still there. I wonder. I hope it doesn't freeze. I guess we. I mean, there's no real point in expanding it for now. I guess I'll expand it off camera. But 
the breeder won't go here because the breeder's going to be expanded that way. And then our castle base, or some sort of kingdom castle, might be over there a little bit. So, yeah, we got a decent villager set up, moved all of our items, um, moved our animals, and the cave base is going to be now the berry hill and a kelp store. So, I started a kelp store because it's kind of random, and I hope no one else is going to make a kelp store. I also got rid of the rails. But anyway, I guess that'll wrap it up for today. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you for episode number four. Goodbye.